Intel becomes first to install high NA UV lithography scanner. Intel Foundry has received and assembled the industry's first high numerical aperture, high NA, extreme ultraviolet, EUV lithography system. The new tool can drastically increase resolution and feature scaling for the next generation of processors, allowing Intel Foundry to maintain process leadership beyond Intel 18A. High NA EUV is ASML's next generation lithography system developed after decades of partnership with Intel. As the pioneer in high NA EUV, Intel Foundry will be able to achieve unprecedented precision and scalability in chip fabrication. This in turn will allow Intel to design chips with the most innovative features and capabilities, processors that are vital for driving improvements in AI and other upcoming technologies. The chipmaker claims that high NA EUV lithography is the most cost-effective method for the most difficult layers. So can Samsung catch up to Intel's one manometer leadership? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. To advance processing nodes, Intel and ASML worked together to develop high NIEUV lithography technologies that would pave the way for the next generation of CPUs. Chipmakers must utilize photolithography that can consistently handle decreasing feature sizes. Extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography. One of the primary technologies for reaching these sizes uses EUV light to generate detailed patterns on silicon wafers, considerably improving the resolution and precision of semiconductor patterning. Asinol's high numerical aperture extreme ultraviolet lithography scanner is currently undergoing final calibration at Intel Oregon's D1X test manufacturing factory. It is nearly as big as a double-decker bus and as heavy as a blue whale. It will shoot lasers at light speed and heat plasma to approximately 220,000 degrees Celsius, which is nearly 40 times hotter than the sun's surface temperature. The new Twinskin EXD 5000 has the ability to significantly improve resolution feature scaling for next-generation CPUs, allowing the continuing pursuit of Moore's Law. Intel has become ASML's first commercial customer for their high numerical aperture, high NA EUV tool. Intel believes that this tool can improve the optics design for projecting printed pictures on a silicon wafer, significantly increasing the resolution and scalability of up-and-coming processors. Intel recently completed the assembly of the industry's first high NA extreme ultraviolet lithography equipment and announced ambitions to begin manufacturing 1 nanometers level semiconductors as early as 2025. Mark Phillips, Intel's Director of Lithography Hardware and Solutions, believes that high NA EUV lithography is more cost-effective than low NA EUV double patterning for chip layers with the tiniest features. If you use it for the things that it was designed to do, and you've had enough confidence that it was going to stay on schedule to plan your process to take advantage of them, then yes, high NA certainly is cost-effective, Phillips stated. Phillips noted that Intel has been collaborating with ASML for more than 10 years to ensure that high NA will satisfy the functional and financial requirements of the chipmakers. In that regard, ASML has fulfilled the agreement. No surprises have occurred, Phillips declared. At its R&D facilities in Oregon, Intel recently finished assembling a high NA system, making it the first to be placed at an external location and the second high NA system ever assembled. In order to support advanced processing nodes, Intel and ASML collaborated to build a Twinskin EXD 5000 scanner from ASML, making Intel the first in the industry to obtain a high NA EUV tool. According to Philips, we're not just customers. We were very involved in the initial discussions and concepts for the tool. They described the space of what was technically possible. And then we worked together to figure out the business case for the tool. How could it be used cost-effectively? We agreed to those specs many years ago. The Twinskin EXC 5000 scanner uses a 13.5 nanometers EUV wavelength and a 0.55 numerical aperture NA to deliver up to 8 nanometers resolution and a throughput of 185 wafers per hour at 20 mg on CM squared dosage. Compared to prior systems with a 0.33 NA, the new approach improves imaging contrast and decreases light exposure per layer. 
Intel additionally distinguishes the new high NIEUV system with improved resolution capabilities which allow it to project features that are 1.7 times smaller than those available with earlier EUV tools. The companies believe that this development will allow them to produce transistors with densities up to 2.9 times higher than the current state of the art. Compared to typical 0.33 NAEUV, high NAEUV consumes less light each exposure, lowering the time necessary to print each layer and thereby increasing wafer productivity. Intel stated that it aims to design and produce its chips using both 0.33 NAEUV and 0.55 NAEUV, as well as additional lithography methods, beginning with product proof points on Intel 18A in 2025 and progressing to production of the Intel 14 a node. ASML has denied all assertions that high NA is not competitive. There's no doubt in my mind that high NA is the right choice from an economic point of view. It used to be a question some time ago, but I think everything that we're currently seeing is that high NA is very clearly the most cost-effective solution both in logic and memory, CDO Peter Wenning said in January. CDFO Roger Dassin, citing a robust order intake of over 10 high NA instruments thus far mid-January, said that it's clear that a couple of customers are eager to use it as soon as possible. Many experts have questioned the cost-efficacy of high NA EUV lithography. The market research agency contended that high NA required such large doses of EUV light that throughput was impaired, implying that low NA EUV double patterning is more cost effective. As a result, our tribal TSMC is unlikely to embrace high NA as aggressively as Intel, according to reports. The Taiwanese foundry has not verified or disputed these rumors, while CEO CCY has hinted that his company is still figuring out the best moment for high NA insertion. We take a serious look at everything, considering the maturity of the tools as well as the cost. We always make the right decision at the right time to serve our customers, he stated cryptically during the Q4 results call. According to Philips, the benefits of this innovation go beyond reduced transistor sizes. Why do we choose to be the first movers on high NAEUV? First of all, the improved resolution enables flexible design rules, simplifies the process flow, reduces the number of mask layers, and reduces the other process steps you need to accumulate multiple mask layers into one process layer, he added. That gives us a better time to yield from the faster information turns, the shorter process flow, and the simpler process we have to debug. We expect better yields in the end from that. Intel made a calculated decision to maintain its competitive advantage in the semiconductor business by implementing the high NAEUV tool. Beginning with the Intel 18 a process node, the company intends to include the Twinskin EXE 5000 into its production line in the hopes that this technology would propel Intel farther into the Armstrong era. Why go for high NAEUV? Extreme ultraviolet lithography with a high numerical aperture is a major development in the production of semiconductors. High NAEUV systems change their optical design to include a broader angle of exposure. This change significantly increases the system's capacity to focus light with high accuracy, allowing for smaller and more densely packed transistors. In this approach, high NAEUV systems provide the ability to create innovative chip designs that are beyond the limitations of present lithography technology, pushing Moore's law farther into the future. First and foremost, the enhanced resolution enables flexible design principles, simplifies the process flow, reduces the number of mask layers, and reduces the other process steps required to accumulate multiple mask layers into one process layer. Because of the quicker information turns, shorter process flows, and easier processes to debug, this allows us to yield at a better time. In the end, we anticipate higher yields from it. Intel renamed its foundry business unit as Foundry and expanded its product and foundry lines into two distinct companies in February 2024. The expanded business unit now offers fabrication, packaging, supply chains, and technology development services. However, earlier this month, the company recorded $7 billion in operating losses in 2023 versus revenues of $18.9 billion, a 31% decrease from the $27.49 billion it made the year before. In an effort to correct earlier mistakes, Intel stated that it planned to cut the overall number of outsourced wafers from 30% to 20% and make full use of its high NAEUV machine. What do you think? Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below. And you can support this channel by liking this video. 
And that concludes this episode. Be sure to subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the next video.